Our top news this week. Adi has just released some exciting new updates for their Hi5, Rio One, and the ZMU4 controller. The Hi5 SUP 2.1 update brings new support for the RF900 radio module, as well as a new file browser for user setups. In addition, this update features lens menu, virtual T-stop, and virtual focal length improvements. With this latest update, the Hi5 now also supports the Cinefade license, which enables remote control of a Cinefade device via the Hi5 hand controller while using the Rio One as a radio host. Tilta has released a modification kit for their Hydra Arm mini stabilizing system. This upgrade makes it possible for the system to use the DJI Ronin 2 gimbal stabilizer, capable of carrying heavier cinema cameras and zoom lenses. New components include a heavier duty shock absorber head, a mount for the DJI Ronin 2, and a stronger spring for the shock absorber arm. These new components enable payload support between 8 and 13 kilograms while using a two-arm configuration, enabling cinematographers to get smoother footage at higher speeds and also use heavier cinema camera setups. Blackmagic Design has also released Camera Update 8.5. The public beta update brings a few updates to the Blackmagic Ursa Broadcast G2, such as support for Blackmagic Cloud workflows and direct uploads to DaVinci Resolve projects. This update also adds a media pool file browser and proxy recording for Blackmagic RAW and ProRes. In addition, this update improves SDI output latency, adds support for SRT streaming protocol, and also support for REST control API. And that's all the news we have for this week. We will return next week with more news in 90 seconds.